I'm Nick Hanashevsky. As a professional saltwater fishing journalist, I've explored the world's wildest fishing destinations. Now, I'm bringing you there, into the saltwater underground. The surf calls. There's something ethereal about planting your feet in the sands, casting out into the vast unknown ocean waters and hoping to set a hook into a fish. Surf casting is the ultimate challenge, pitting man versus fish. But surf fishing for striped bass in New Jersey during the fall run is on another level. From October through December, excitement is off the charts as millions of stripers migrate along the coastline, feeding voraciously blowing up bait pods and crashing, splashing moments of mayhem. If you happen to be in the right place at the right time, the results can be legendary. Word has it that the bass are blitzing bait schools up and down the coast, and I'm on the move to hunt down some surf stripers. Any successful surf casting session starts out by heading to Grumpy's Tackle to grab the right gear. All right, now I gotta get the latest intel from the boys, Frankie and Scotty. What's been happening? Where are we going? What am I gonna do? We got fish from inlet to inlet, it's Manasquan through Island Beach, uh, poppers, swim shads, yeah. swimmers. They yeah. love swimmers. They're blowing up everywhere, right? Or everywhere. Right? It's been crazy. Yeah. This place has been like a madhouse. What is it, like morning tide, evening tide? All day. Really? All yeah? day. Find the bait, you'll find the fish. I was hearing like the incoming tides been producing. Should I hit that yeah. better? Or hit what? that. Drop tide's been really, really good. Really? All yeah. right. You heard, it, you heard it right from here. The <laughs> two boys that know what's going on. All right. Give it to the grumpies, boys. Yeah, we're out of here soon. We're going fishing ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the beach, all right? Yep. The crew at Grumpy's Tackle always has the right answers, or at the very least is an entertaining bunch to dial me into what lures are going to produce, as well as to learn the latest trends and tactics that can change day by day. It all starts with getting the right intel. All right, so the first thing I want to check out here is I want to look at the conditions of the water and the surf. And Right up here, we're on top of these huge dunes here in uh, Lavalette. And from basically Lavalette to Bayhead down to Island Beach State Park, they built these huge 20, 30 foot dunes after Superstorm Sandy. And that gives you an awesome high vantage viewpoint to be able to look out at the surf here and see what's going on. Now what I'm, what I'm checking out is to try and find where the cuts and the sloughs are. You can see where the, the breaks are, where the white water is, those are the sandbars. Then you can see the holes in the sloughs where all the bait will get all uh, contained in there and the bass will start hammering them. So it looks like there's not too many people on the beach today. What we're going to try and do is throw some savage uh, panic poppers out there, some Ron Z, Z fin paddle tail baits, anything that mimics the small peanut bunker to the adult sized peanut bunker that are out here right now that the bass are feeding on. So with these size class bass, the 24 to 36 inch fish, we're basically going to use a Shimano Stratig 5000 class reel spooled with 30 pound Power Pro line. Then we use a 9 foot Savage Gear squad rod that handles these fish with, with ease. And then we're using the Ron Z Z fin paddle tail shads that mimic the bunker perfectly. Another thing is once we get our 25 to 30 pound fluorocarbon line, we use these little dual lock swivels here so we can easily change out baits. So you just tie one on there, clip it off, we're ready to go. Looks pretty good right now. I think we're gonna air down the tires on the Jeep and get out here and catch some fish. Some sure. We got lynchy here. Oh look, pizza got fish cakes for us already. Uh -huh. Nice. Making little striper right. cakes. That's the way to start it up. Uh, <laughs> look, another fish. We got to start casting. Uh, Let's yeah. go. How about that? Just a little bit of a cast into this hole here. Got a little hit. Standing next to Mickey. Feels like a little bath. Check this out. 
That's a hickory shad out here. Normally, we can chunk those up and use them for bait. That's crazy that he hit a lure like that. But we call, call these Jersey tarpon. They're fun to catch on the fly rod. You see, they look like little tarpon. Pretty wild stuff. All right, I think we're gonna pick up and make a move. We're getting reports a little bit more fish up uh, to the north. It's funny because like we're, we're in a caravan of like three or four cars and we each got our own car but when you pull up like four cars in a row people think a fight's going on. So all of a sudden it's like the Garden State Parkway here and now we got like 25 cars all lined up because they think because four of us got here that there's a bite. It's called Jersey Mug and you can see all the cars. Look. <laughs> this is as close to the fish as we've been all day. Can't seem to figure out how they want this. I'm trying everything right now because there's nothing more frustrating than knowing they're right out there. Oh, yeah. That's a striper. All right, Mike. <laughs> nice job, Mike. Radical, Mike. That's his first striper in the surf. Mike, you got it. Big spot. Hey, little baby. Go back and tell your dad I'm looking for him. <laughs> Nick brings Mike for his first surf striper. Hey, it brings out, brother. Yeah. Max, let's get him back in the water. Hold him out so he looks like he's 40 inches. There we go. There he goes. Woo! All right, boys. I think let's call it tonight. We fished right until nightfall here. Mike, you got out there. Yeah. Mike, you got his first surf striper, which is awesome. Yeah. What uh? Mick, I think we go, we wake up and uh, maybe see if we can find some peanut bunker schools and Absolutely. go hit tomorrow, you know? I could do this all night, but I know. <laughs> I'm Here. incorrigible when it comes to this. Yeah, wait for dinner. So let's yeah. wake up tomorrow and get it done for all the right. next day, all right? All right. All right. Good time. Thanks. It's a deal. All right, let's rewind that for a second. One more cast for a nighttime bass. All these fish bite through the nighttime. So first cast with the plug, get a nighttime bass. <laughs> you can't leave them biting, you know? Here we go. Saltwater Underground with Nick Konashevsky is brought to you by at Nick Konashevsky on Instagram. Savage Gear, Bubba Blade, Shimano, Grundins, Grumpy's Tackle, Fisherman Supply, Ronzi Lures, and Chatter Lures. Saltwater Underground with Nick Konashevsky is brought to you by at Nick Konashevsky on Instagram. Savage Gear, Bubba Blade, Shimano, Grundins, Grumpy's Tackle, Fisherman Supply, Ron Z Lures, and Chatter Lures. Driving down the beach here looking for bait and, and stripers on them. This is the height of, of like one of the best fall striped bass runs I've experienced in, I don't know, probably 20 years at least. And I kind of measure a successful fishing trip by like catching a fish, but Nick and I have had multiple like days where we've each caught you know 30 40 fish a piece and uh and man it just it keeps you coming back you get spoiled though you, you expect it to be that way all the time <laughs> so this is the thing when the peanut bunker are moving it's like they're moving uh north to south right now we're watching the birds we're watching like fish blow up in them and spraying them around but it's like you know, do you go chase the fish? Do you just sit and wait for the schools or the peanut bunker to come on by? So it's like this conundrum you try and figure out, you know, because you don't want to run all the way down like a quarter mile and all of a sudden that disperses. So I think right now we're going to sit and wait for this next big school to come through because we know that there's a big school of peanuts down there. We saw some fish on the outskirts of that. So we're going to wait this out for one second here, but then we might run out of here. <laughs> Nick, all hooked up, dude. They're in the white soft plastic. Really? <laughs> that was a beautiful fish. Look at that fish. So <laughs> funny. Look at that. Look at that. For Mick, dude. Ah! <laughs> Cut yourself right now, right? All right. Unbelievable. Just hitting 
Yeah. Oh, peanut bunkers like mad. Yeah. Look at that fish. Just yeah. ripping them, Nick. Look. <laughs> Come out here when the peanut bunker yeah. are all over in the fall of November. Bass blitzing all over them, brother. This is how we yeah, get it. Fantastic stuff. It's been two days of this now. Well, it's been a month of this. Yeah. But. It's like yesterday's yeah. fishing, tomorrow's fishing. Yeah. One after another, bass after bass, <laughs> man. Fantastic. Here we go. Let's go get more. Yeah, now's the time. <laughs> we'll get it to other. Fashion, baby. <laughs> I got I got Timmy Brockman coming right now too. So oh, maybe old man Brockman's boy. <laughs> Brockman's boy yeah. But we're gonna jump in his truck and we'll go we'll go chase these fish. I think. Where we even go? I don't know. It looks like birds that way. You want to go hit hit yeah. that up? I was just I was just uh, all the way north by Burnt Mar. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, there's. Uh, ton of birds coming in this way. I don't know which way to go. Right, no, we're going that way where the birds are. We're going to hop in the back of the truck, all right? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Mick, let's hop in the back and we'll roll. We'll take a little ride. What do you got? Going over down there. Yeah, way. yeah. Just make a quick run. Let me throw this in the front. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> Follow those fish. Light them up, Timmy. Let's go get those fish. Birds with the boys. This is called running. This is called running and gunning. We're we're driving on the Garden State Parkway alternate route here, <laughs> chasing a school of bass that's on a school of peanut bunker. With the internet and social media, word gets out really fast. So there's there's not really any secrets anymore. But uh, we're gonna try and get in front of this school because they're headed south. So we're headed south. Get trapped right now by all the bass right here. Look at this. They're coming right here. They're just destroying the schools right now. <laughs> That right there. Jersey fall run bass in there. You can't beat this. This is just unbelievable. Just crazy fishing. Blitzing conditions, just casting around, peanut bunker spraying all over. Oh, this is what this is stuff you 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 book thousands of dollars of trips for. <laughs> we got it right here in Jersey. Look at that beautiful fish. like ebbs and flows like every 20 minutes. This fish to our north now. We'll probably be here in you know five, ten minutes. <laughs> These beautiful fish, see? Unbelievable. On the peanut bunkers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're kidding me, this is unreal. Just hitting everything. Get all the peanut bunkers are out there right now. Oh, unbelievable. Jersey fishing here at its finest. These stripers are all over the peanut bunker right now, just hound dogging it. Lights out fishing, casting Ron Z plastics and little shads and everything, and they're just picking them off right outside the schools. This is a typical Jersey fall run bass, dude. Insanity. He's gonna 
gonna do what he wants to do, man. Releasing the bass in the surf, dude. Woo! Let's catch some more. That right there is a peanut bunker. That's what they're feeding on right now. Lost him again, good step though. Nice, we got Sue and Pat over here. What's up, Sue? How are you? Did you catch anything yet or what? I didn't. My yeah. brother got his first bass of the day. one right there. Those striper cakes Pete made. Pete, I gotta, get, I gotta get more of these striper cakes, man. Gotta get them before we got a canine uh, issue. Hey, let me have a bite of this and then, uh, dude, that's fuel for fire right here. You gotta show me how to make these. You wanna do that for me or what? Yeah, I don't know how much you like work. It's a lot <laughs> of work. Been cooking and not make. It's a lot. Dude, so we gotta, we gotta have him show us how to make these. Let's do that. We'll do it. Dave, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Call him, he's calling the troops in. I yeah. see the hat, man. I was like, there's Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Our neighbor's on the beach. Yeah. Look, he didn't want to talk. Man, he's I going fuck. fishing. I... Yeah. Right in nightfall. He's always, he uses like these small little freshwater rods and he catches all the big bass, man. What I built. <laughs> the coolest thing is I built this rod. <laughs> So it's a mad man. The mad man with the crazy bomber hat. Let's see what he can land here. Can he land the fish on that little oh, rod? Yeah! Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. Absolutely. Beautiful yeah, fish. Yeah, thanks. Awesome, man. <laughs> Release it and throw him back. Oh, two thanks, old, two old neighbors <laughs> hanging out again. Two old school yeah. neighbors. Yeah! <laughs> that's how it gets thanks. done, dude. No, I appreciate that. Throw him back. Oh. All good. Right. Unless you want them. Hey, now Unless you want back them in. for Thanksgiving, throw them back. I don't care. Thanksgiving bass going back in. All right, man. Awesome. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right with the plan. Old schoolers, man. We roll the beach, dude. Nice. Old schoolers, roll the beach. <laughs> Saltwater Underground with Nick Konoshevsky is brought to you by at Nick Konoshevsky on Instagram. Savage Gear, Bubba Blade, Shimano, Grundins, Grumpy's Tackle, Fisherman Supply, Ron Z Lures, and Chatter Lures. Purple Pants Pete talking about these killer striper cakes. We're gonna see if he can put his money where his mouth is, go into his house, see if he can cook them up for us. Yo! <laughs> He's finally here. There he is. Sorry to interrupt you, dude. You have a good time, huh? Oh boy. Yo, you gonna make us some uh, striper cakes or what? Always, of course. Why not? <laughs> I can see you're ready just and waiting right, for Just walk He's right ready in. and waiting. <laughs> kind of. A little late. Always late. <laughs> well, it was nice for you to fly me in. Fall this way. <laughs> walk off the beach, yeah. Yeah. Take these fillets. Get this red meat out when possible, as much as you possibly can. All right. And then chunk it up into cubes like this. Put it in a pan, almost covered to the top with water like you're poaching it. Just keep your eye on it. It turns like a flaky, like a crab cake. And that's the finished product after you poach the stripers. Flakes off nice and neatly like that. So what's in the mix here? What do you got with for ingredient wise and all the secret sauce? Uh, there's mayo, there is horseradish, there's an egg or two, Dijon mustard. Um, Balloons, uh, <laughs> breadcrumb, Old Bay. It's celery, red peppers, onions, that's all ready to go. The diced, uh, when it's complete, looks like that yeah. dish, right? Make sure uh, you saute that first. You don't want it too crunchy and raw, everything in there. The poached striped bass, got peppers, onions, and celery in there to start. And then when this is all said and done, you kind of want it to marinate all together in the fridge for, I'd say, at least like half a day. It's a huge difference. There you go. 
let them cool off and let Nick bust into those things. This, this is what we had on the beach too, right? Same recipe? Yep, and All you right. just eat them out of here the Here comes the real taste test here. Oh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did, I don't want you back. Oh my God, this is too good, dude. That's all I gotta say. There's nothing more to say than now. You're gonna take a bunch? Yeah, I'm gonna take those ones that you gave me for the freezer. We'll eat these, there you go. Purple Pants Pete. Should I show them? Striper that? cakes right there. One of these, I'm taking this one too. Yeah. And this. Put all right. There's <laughs> one for uh, the boy. There we go. And some more. I'm out of here. <laughs> what exactly is the lore of surf casting? I surmise the draw is about access and opportunity, along with the camaraderie built upon sharing a cast standing shoulder to shoulder with friends. Surf casting allows any person in any walk of life to have the chance to tangle with a big time catch from the beach. For Florida anglers, it could be tarpon or snook. For Texas, redfish or tops. California has their corbina and halibut. But in Jersey, the striped bass holds the ultimate crown as the prized surf treasure. Jersey's fall run of bass is unparalleled when the migration hits right. A few bent rods on a striper surf casting session is a reward enough for me. But sprinkle in a few salty characters to share that day casting in the suds, and I'm more than satisfied. At least until tomorrow. <laughs>